Let's, let's talk about incision points and scars. Um, it's a common question about where the incision points are placed, and, and I, it, it really is very important exactly where they're placed. It's not just a matter of uh, placing as few as possible or only one incision point. Where you place them, especially when you're doing areas of the calves and ankles or you're doing it circumferentially, it's very important to be very precise about exactly where they're placed to strategically and safely get to each area and get the best cosmetic and functional results. Um, the incisions that I, I use are very small incisions. They're, they're about two or three millimeter little small slits in the skin. Um, usually they heal in very, very well. The upper incisions typically are closed and sutured. The lower incisions are left open to drain, which is an important thing in terms of, of the fluid draining over the next 24 hours after the surgery to get as little bruising and swelling as possible. Um, the incisions usually heal in very, very well. I would say in 98% of patients after a period of time, six to 12 months, the vast majority of them are imperceptible. Rarely some things can, can occur in terms of incision points though that can leave some marks in the area. Sometimes they will um, hyperpigment, they'll become brown in color, especially in pa patients who are uh, darker skin tone in a small percentage of patients. In those cases, uh, usually lightening creams or bleaching creams and sun avoids will help, help them to lighten up. There are some other treatments using certain specific lasers um, or microneedling that can help that to lighten up over time. In a small percentage of patients, one incision or a couple incisions can develop a ring of redness and swelling around them. Personally, I think that's occurring because of a frictional, as much as that skin is protected, by doing the liposuction itself, certain people's skin is very sensitive and can develop some redness around the incision point and develop a swollen red bump. Not infection, but chronic inflammation that can take some time to settle down. Usually, by using certain specific lasers, either a pulsed IV beam laser or another vascular laser and doing a few treatments, that will tend to go away as time goes on. Um, if, uh, if thickening occurs around incision, um, and a small, what we call hypertrophic scar, where the incision itself has formed a little bump in the area, um, usually that will settle down with time or massaging, or conservative placement of cortisone into that bump will help it to usually settle down, or repeatedly you might have to do that. Uh, rarely there's a textural change or an indentation in an incision that needs to be addressed. You can, uh, or it can be tried, whether it's with me in Los Angeles if you're here, or seeing another doctor who is capable of doing this to treat that using specific lasers or microneedling. If it forms an indentation that is deeper, very, very rarely that indentation would need to be cut out and reopposed with some small stitches. Um, so these are some of the rare occurrences um, that can happen to incision points that may need to be treated.